Hi guys, Christine here from Hot Off The Heels. Today I'm doing a very special tribute video to e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, side note, I am not sponsored by e.l.f., neither do I get any credit or commission. This is just my 15-year loyalty to this company and to this brand. So I want to wish them a very happy 15th anniversary and do this tribute video using all things e.l.f. So from my tools, to all of the makeup I'm going to use on my full face today is going to be completely e.l.f. So let's get started. Starting now with, I'm going to introduce all of the products. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's fairly new, came out a few months ago. So the only thing I have on my face now is just moisturizer. So it's definitely going to be complete full face e.l.f. cosmetics today. So going in, with the e.l.f. primer. I'm gonna target my large pores first. So what is primer, Christine? What does primer do? What is the use of this extra product before foundation? Well, um, for some of us that have oily skin, it helps to reduce the, um, the oil breakout throughout the day. It helps to make your foundation last longer and prevent fading um, throughout the day. So it assists the foundation in staying on longer and acting as a barrier between your skin and the makeup to prevent extra oiliness and, and shine to come through. So I think it's on there. Nice. So a little introduction of how I got into e.l.f. Um, I was 20, let's not do the math now, 15 years ago, I got introduced to e.l.f. online because I was looking for something that was hypoallergenic and makeup that wouldn't make my face break out because I was having really bad breakouts uh, due to another brand's foundation. So I came across this foundation right here. This is the Flawless Foundation by e.l.f. And I've been a diehard fan since. There have been other foundations that I've loved in between but this one still stays in my arsenal. So, I'm just gonna do two pumps. It has a little bit of SPF in there too, so it's really helpful to fight against sun damage. And I'm using the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. It's a really great buffing brush for foundation. So one of the things I really love and respect about the e.l.f. brand is that they are a brand that really accentuates and promotes natural beauty. So a lot of their products are very natural looking, nothing too cakey, nothing too crazy, because they really promote bringing out the natural, beautiful you. So the foundation isn't very high coverage. It's medium, medium to full, but it's not full to maximum cakiness, which I really like and respect about it. All right, I think that's blended. Get a little look. Okay, now for a little concealer. So Elf hit us with a bomb concealer. Uh, this year. They came out with the 16 hour camel concealer, which is very comparable to the Tarte Shape Tape. Very high definition, really um, high coverage, crazy coverage. But I must say my favorite concealer of e.l.f. is still the HD Lifting um, Concealer because it's so moisturizing and I'm all about moisturizing my under eyes um, and anti-aging, preventative all of that stuff so I love having a very moist and soft under eye but for the purposes of just showing how wonderful the elf products are I'm gonna use both but I'm gonna use the lifting moisturizing one as a base first before doing the other one so I just keep it under the eyes and just to the redness around my nose I'm gonna bounce it in brush is really great. I rarely feel the need for my beauty blender, but I did bring my little e.l.f. Um, 
concealer sponge, I think it is, it's the mini sponge, just in case I felt as though it might be a, a need for a little bit of a sponge blend, but the brush is, the brush has been great. Sometimes this alone is my go-to out the door, I have no other time for anything else, natural face, because I have the foundation on, everything is looking clean, under eyes are covered. Um, some days this is just my out the door when I don't have time. So, just something to share. Okay, so this is the, I'll show you now why this is so crazy. This is like the highest coverage concealer I've ever used, ever. This is insane. That applicator is massive. Okay. I wouldn't say this is an everyday concealer, but definitely one of those going out with a girl Saturday night or a special event. Something where you're going to be photographed a lot. This is really great because um, these very high coverage concealers photograph very, very well. Okay. Blend it in. Again, using the same blending brush. I hope you guys have been so amazing throughout the years. I know when you guys first started out, you had like all of like 10 products on your website. Now you guys have grown into a full face brand and you are constantly revamping and reformulizing your products to make them even better than they already were. So. You're an awesome brand. I'm just blending it in. Trying to make sure that I'm not getting that seam between the concealer and my, and my foundation or skin. So you really want to blend all that through. I am going to go over it with the sponge though. I feel like this formula for this other Concealer is a little thicker, so it needs just a little bit of sponginess. Pushing it down. Face is done. I just want to really quickly set my under eyes. I'm using the e.l.f. Glow setting powder. They do have the matte ones that don't glow and that are not sparkly, but today it felt like I'm a little bit more radiant than usual. <laughs> and my favorite setting brush. It's not called a setting brush, it's a small tapered brush. But the reason why I love setting with this is because of this pointy end right there. There's nothing else that I set my makeup with. Definitely one of those brushes that I'd be lost if, if I lost it. Lost without it. All right, I'm just gonna set my under eyes so I don't crease. A little bit goes a long way, guys. I don't go too crazy and I don't do the baking because I feel as though baking really dries your under eyes out and I'm about moisturizing and anti-aging, so the more moisture I can preserve under my eyes, the better. And a little bit in the T-zone just to prevent the oils from getting too shiny throughout the day. That's, yep, that's my setting. All right, the base is done. I love this brush. Can't say it enough. Okay. Now, another staple that's been in my vanity throughout the years. I think I also started using this 15 years ago as well as the foundation. So I'm gonna tell you which things are new, like the concealer that came out is pretty new and the primer is pretty new. And some things are like so super old, but they're still amazing. So this is one of them. This is the Sunkiss bronzer. And I love this because it's not crazy, just right and it's very, very subtle. And I love it for the, the forehead and under the chin and the face, and then I add on any um, additional bronzers that I feel um, need to give me more color. So, this is the complexion brush from e.l.f., very fluffy. I like to use this for bronzing. And now I'll use this one later. So the complexion brush into the Sunkiss bronzer. Again, I've been loving this bronzer since I was 
we of a 20 year old. <laughs> okay, see how very subtle it is, but it gives just a little bit of a sun-kissed color onto the face. Blending it in, staying right here. Just a little bit of color, nothing too drastic, nothing sculpting, nothing too crazy, just to contrast the lightness of the concealer. And just make the face look like it got some sun because we're winter here right now, guys. The face is losing color. So just a little bit of glow and a little bit of color. And it does have a little bit of like this glowy highlighting effect. So if you didn't wear highlighter that day and this was the only thing you had on, it's still um, going to shine and be radiant throughout the day. This is the baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls, which you can tell I've used <laughs> quite a lot. It's a really great highlighter, very, very bright. Um, and this one is actually an eyeshadow. I forgot the name now, but it's also baked. And I love to use this, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm doing more of like a sunset highlight, um, orangey, more, it's very different from the other. But I'm not gonna use all of them today. Just wanted to show you I'm a big fan of both of them. But the one that was in the Moonlight Pearls, I am gonna highlight my Cupid's bow. After I put on lipstick, it'll really stand out. That's for later. Okay, I'm gonna dip the same brush into the highlighter. Okay, just gonna dust the top of my cheekbones, just a bit. See the glow already. I must say, for a drugstore brand or a pharmacy brand, um, e.l.f. definitely has um, the quality of a high-end product. Most of their products. But the things I'm using today are definitely definitely my favorites and have the quality of a high-end um, makeup brand. So, okay, a little bit on the nose. You guys know I love that nose highlight. At this point, I'm not gonna wait till the very end. I'm just going to do a really quick spritz of the e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Um, again, great quality great ingredients in this brand guys this is made with aloe green tea cucumber vitamins a c and e they do have a mattifying one that has a little bit of alcohol in it but i didn't bring that one today um today i just want a little less mattifying a little bit more moisturizing and dewy because it's winter so we're trying to get a little bit more moisture onto the face um, but in the summertime i will use the elf makeup mist and set matte okay Next, onto the eyes and the eyebrows. I love their clear eyebrow gel. Use it on the daily, even if I don't put on any makeup on the brows, I get this whole mess put together and organized with this um, clear gel. But today I'm going to first use their Fibrous Wow Brow in Neutral Brow. So what this will do, it's not going to line my brows, but it's going to fill in all the sparse areas and it's going to um, give some color and filling to the already existing brows. Okay, so nothing too drastic but there's definitely a, a difference in the brows. There's my little sponge. All right, I'm gonna take this moment and thank this awesome team at Pro Studio today. Um, having so much fun already, they are absolutely amazing and I'm giving a huge shout out Pro Studio and Vintook Namibia guys are awesome and yeah I'm really enjoying this I not, not I'm gonna come in here every day and do my makeup <laughs> just to enjoy this vanity area 
I'm gonna go over the brows with the clear gel just to make sure I get some of these little flyaways under control. So thank you for having me. Those are the brows. Okay, I know I freaked out a few of you by showing you how I use eyeliner in my waterline, but that's just something I've been doing like for such a long time and then showing you on video, you guys are like, oh my God, you're sticking an eyeliner in your eye. <laughs> but um, I've been doing that since I was like a teenager. It's probably the only makeup I was allowed to wear at first. Um, but it just makes such a difference to me to get that waterline, which is that space between your lash and your eyeball um, defined. And I always have eyeliner on there. So when I was doing my last tutorial in my last video, I got a lot of um, WhatsApp messages like, really love the tutorial, but I'm not sticking an eyeliner in my eye like that. How do you do that? Just get used to it. I've been doing it for so long. I can do it without looking. No, <laughs> let's not do that. <laughs> so this is the e.l.f. Cole eyeliner. What I love about this is that it has this smudging brush at the end. I mean, I'm going to show you how I use it. Um, so it's like a double-ended and the cap, which I've broken, don't mind it, is a sharpener. So it's very handy. Very handy, elf. Okay, got that in. So now I'm just going to I hate going in with the finger that messes up the makeup when I stretch a little bit, so I always go in with like either a brush or a sponge just to give it a little stretch to line. I'm only going halfway through. I'll show you why, because I'm going to blend it with the sponge just now, so I don't want to go too crazy and make like this dark um, raccoon eyes. Halfway. Halfway in to the cornea or your eye. Okay, and then I'm going to use the spongy side. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a smoky look. But again, I don't want to bring the full product into the inner corner of the eye. That's just going to go from sexy smoldering cat eye to um, raccoon eyes. Don't do that. Don't bring too much eyeliner to the inner eye. just going to clean up the edges a little bit with my um, e.l.f. eyeliner flat eyeliner brush. I'm going to bring a little bit to the top since I have some extra product on that brush. Just going to give it a little definition. Another one of my favorite products. All of these are my favorite products. I'm going to be so annoying and say that before I use every product. Uh, their liquid liner. This is the Precision Liner by e.l.f. It comes like this instead of the usual pen um, liquid liners. So I'm going to just use a little bit right there on top. And I am going to use e.l.f. Um, false lashes today, so having a liquid liner on first really helps. This is another one of their older products as well. They have reformulated it. They have revamped it, and so it is much better than when they first came out with it, so loving the improvements. And it's still one of my staple products. It's always there. No matter if I'm loving another liquid liner at the moment, I still come back home to e.l.f. with this one because I really love. I love the brush. I love the way it feels. I love how long lasting it is. I love how I made a mistake. I'm gonna stay right there. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to use the e.l.f. crease brush right here. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. blending brush right there. Their tools are amazing. Their brush sets are amazing. Like, I had 
happy anniversary, guys, to 15 more and beyond. Um, and their spoolie brush definitely is another one I can't live without. Into the bronzer. And I'm going to go into the crease of my eyes. Just give it some color. So pigmented. You would never say that you can't use this on your eyes because it's such great color. I love how the shape of this brush gets right like in there. In retrospect, I probably should have waited to do the liquid liner after doing my eyes. But just wing it, guys. Life is like eyeliner, right? Just wing it. It happened. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't ruin it or ruin the application and I just work around it. Some of that color on the crease there. Remember the highlighter we put on the upper lip? I'm going to dip in there very lightly and gently and spark some light on my eyebrow arch. Brow bone. Okay, another staple in my, in my makeup bag is this mascara primer. Comes out looking like a white Elmer's glue, like you're about to do some arts and crafts, but it dries clear. You put this on first before mascara, and I promise you, no matter what mascara you have, it just doubles in size of whatever you're using because it makes your lashes thicker before even going in with the mascara application. Um, today I am using falsies, so I'm gonna I'm doing this anyway to get the lashes out of the way and. Um, a little bit more lifted to marry with the flat, uh, with the lashes better. Again, it looks really white, but it dries clear. I promise, it's one of those um, lash glues that go on white and they always dry clear. Lashes. So I am using the Elf collaboration with Wiley. <laughs> was an influencer and they're not too crazy or hectic or dramatic like my other lashes that I usually wear but I really love it because it still gives a little bit of definition and flattery to the eyes so don't mind me. All right. This is the annoying part. And while we're waiting for lips I am trying to choose between the two favorite glosses of mine from e.l.f. So one of them is this very nude glossy gloss and the other one is called their Diamond Glow Pout Perfector. It's very, very glittery, very glowy, a little bit metallic, which is really trendy right now. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna think which one I wanna go in with and their little body shimmer stick, I'm going to give a little bit of color to my collarbones. So. I think it's tacky enough. Let's go in there. All this white will dry just now. It's just a combination of the mascara primer and the lash glue. So another thing I wanna give a big shout out to e.l.f. about are their brush cleansing products. Um, usually, for some reason, brush cleansers and specialty soaps for brushes and things can be really expensive, but e.l.f., I don't know how you guys do it. You deliver a great quality product for so much less, and it, brush it cleans my brushes amazingly well and my sponges. So today, just to show you a little example of it without um, showing you the soaps and washing and stuff, I brought the Travel On The Go brush cleaner wipes. I'm gonna show you how well it cleans my foundation brush really quick. So when you're traveling, you just throw this in your makeup bag. It comes in a pack of, I think, 10. Throw it in there, and if you need to clean your brushes, so you wanna prevent um, skin breakouts and things like that, you want to keep your foundation and your concealer brushes somewhat clean and disinfected. So this is really great when you're on the go. When you're at home, use their um, cleansing spray or their soap 
wash your brushes quite regularly if you don't want your skin to break out. I think I'm gonna go with the bare glossy one and leave diamonds for later. See how quickly it sticks when you wait till it gets tacky? Again, just um, take a look at my last tutorial video and you'll see what I mean. So the second it has contact with the skin, it just sticks. Easy peasy. Lashes are on, they're set. They're not going anywhere, just waiting for that primer to dry clear. Let me show you this really quick, guys. Oh. Look at the difference. This poor brush, I've been using it a little over a year and it's just started shedding lately. Other than that, these brushes last such a long time. But I, abu I abuse it. Look at that, ew, yeah. This is great. Again, when you get home, this is an on-the-go fix. When you do go home, I do suggest giving your brushes a proper wash once a week. Latest, once every 10 days. Oh my goodness. Ew! There you go. And their soaps wash even better. This is just a, a temporary fix. And they dry fast. There you go. In with the gloss. I'm liking the eyes so far. Smell like vanilla. Alrighty. And as I mentioned before, just a little bit of their shimmer stick. Now this is the um, the stick version, the creamy version. They do make them in um, shimmer powders for the body, which are gaining quite a popularity online these days. These uh, body makeup and body shimmers, so I just thought I'd, for that purpose, show you. If the weather was a little warmer, I'd be putting this everywhere, but it's what sweater weather. I'm gonna give a little bit of glow to the decolleté. Got a little red from the rubbing, but once that goes away, It'll just glow like a little highlighter on the collarbones. So yeah, guys, full face and partial body of Elf Cosmetics. Here we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Hot Off The Heels. And thank you so much for watching. And Elf, happy anniversary to 15 more, to 100 more, you guys are still rocking it. And this was just my tribute video. And um, just wanted to say thank you for making wonderful products for girls like us that love um, a little bit less chemicals on our faces and a little bit more natural beauty and radiance. Thank you.